Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development So guys in this video I will show you the how to put the images from the gallery into your Android application Okay, I mean you can uh, create your gallery application using Android studio and some APIs Okay, so first of all let me show you the demo Okay, so here is our app let me open it again Okay so here we have this app okay so it will contain all the images which are in our in our folder okay so right now in my folder i have three images okay so what can we do uh, we can uh, long press here to select multiple uh, uh, multiple images okay so now we have these multiple images and we can also share them and delete them also okay to share so we can have this okay so let me show you how i how to create such type of application i mean how you can uh, put the images from the gallery into your android applic activity okay so let's get started so guys First of all, what you need to do is first of all go to your build.gradle and guys, I will upload the uh, this project. Uh, the link will be in the video description. Okay, if you need the code, I will upload the code. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to use uh, this these three uh, APIs. So for first of all, you need to use the Google the Sport Design. Okay, Material Design. Uh, dependency and uh, after that you need to use these to uh, drag the circular view okay and android universal image loader okay these two will be the dependencies and if you go to your build.gradle here you have uh, jetpack.io okay google Maven's repositories okay it's very simple to integrate these uh, apis okay or dependencies in your android project after that what you need to do is first of all go to your main activity okay and here you need to uh, you need to use the uh, drag select recycler view okay so we will be using the uh, api uh, okay so uh, you have to set it to match parent and match parent okay uh, 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 let me remind you first of all First step is you need to add dependencies okay after that, that the second step is you need to uh, use this layout okay i mean the circular view all right after that you need to go to your main activity okay so now you are in your main activity and first of all you need to create a, an interface okay click click listener and in here you need to have two methods on click and on long click all right so you need to implement them okay and after that you need to use this uh, interface drag select circular view the adapted dot selection listener okay so after that what you need to do is first of all uh, let me show you okay so first of all you need to initialize your uh, i mean uh, drag select the circular view okay if you go to main activity okay so you need to initialize that and where, where i am going to initialize that in our own create method okay here you go here we have this uh, where I have okay so here we have this recycler view equals to we have initialized it and we have set a layout okay using the layout manager we have grid layout manager okay and three means we need three images at the at a single row all right so after that what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, as you if you uh, write implements click listener so you need to override the method okay so you need to override the uh, the two methods on click and on long click after that you need uh, an image loader uh, object and image size object okay so what you need to do is first of all let's go to your own create okay so here you first of all need image loader configuration okay so you you must uh, use this and you need to load the images using the image loader object okay so first of all you need to initialize it after that you need to set a 
size okay so for that here we can set uh, i mean 220 into 220 okay width and height so we set it to 220 and 220 okay and after that, after that what we can do we can have uh, initialize our okay so we need to create our thumb adapter okay so we need to use the thumb adapter okay to display all the thumb images here so how can we do so you need to create your thumb adapter class so for that here you have thumb adapter okay so you need to extend it with the drag cycle uh, drag select the cycler view adapters and inside that you need to use thumb adapter dot thumb view air holder okay so after that you what you need to do is you need to first of all create the uh, default constructor okay and after in here you need to use your activity name okay object and first of all you ne also need to use the click listener here callback and you need to set it okay after that you need to add all the uh, image image files okay so in here using uh, if okay so we will be sending uh, the Im the image files okay from our activity to this class thumb adapter okay so thumb adapter will receive those values uh, those files in the files array list okay after that it uh, it will add all right so in our item list okay so now item list is the uh, i mean uh, not it's the local array list okay so after that what we can do we can we need to override two methods okay on create view holder and on bind view holder okay so in our own create view holder so we need to create a class gallery item okay so let me show you here we have this gal uh, gallery item okay so here we have uh, I mean we have uh, a template you can see okay so the thumbnail will be in that uh, format okay so we have to use our custom layout okay so sorry we need to use the custom view okay so for that we need to create a class name scale frame layout okay so we need to create our own scale scale frame layout okay so for, uh, for that we can extend it, it first of all with frag, uh, with frame fragment frame layout sorry okay and after that we just need to use a couple of uh, constructors and then we just need okay so let me i guess we need to remove that we can remove that but i will not remove that okay so and we are just need an own mere method we need to overwrite okay so in here we just need to write in scared specification okay maximum specification okay so uh, after that what you need to do is you need to use this scale frame layout okay fill parent and fill parent although they are uh, not used now but i have used the fill parent okay and after that you need to use the image view here all right so after that what you need to do is you need to set the view here in uh, your own create view folder after that you need to go to own bind view folder okay so in here what you can do you can uh, you you need to set all the value um, i mean all the files image files into the uh, layout so for that first of all you need to use the, uh, the file name okay and after that you need to set uh, null here okay if the if there is any previous image so it will be set to null okay and after that you need to use a uh, display image okay so the image will be displayed and display image will have three arguments here so first of all it will be the file path then the image uh, i mean the image view and after that uh, and uh, image size okay and then we just uh, set the file name to the file name okay and in here when you can set the color filter okay and after that what uh, we have this get item okay count and in here we can just say return item list dot size and uh, we have this get selected files okay so we can get all the selected files okay those uh, files will be selected which are selected okay so after that we have another class thumb view holder okay so we always need a thumb view holder a view holder sorry for every uh, recycler view so for that we here we can have implemented the on click listeners okay and on and on long click listeners 
so for that we have this um, custom uh, oh sorry default constructor and in here we have initialized the gallery images uh, okay the gallery image and then we just set the scale type to uh, center crop and after that we have the set on click listener and set on long click listener okay so in here we just set okay let me show you if call uh, if m callback is not equal to null okay so we can say uh, m callback dot on click okay and here you go okay so we here we have we are using the action bar here okay we have support action bar if you go to your main uh, android uh, android manifest here you, you can see uh, we have this trial uh, app theme okay and in our main activity has dark action bar okay and if you go to your styles we have this no action bar all right so we are using our own action bar I mean custom action bar and uh, what else we need okay so here we I have the code of delete the images okay and sharing and also we have this reload adapter so every time when the images are removed or okay so it will be the uh, the grid view will be uh, reloaded with and the adapter will be reloaded so every time this method will be called so for we have this my thumb adapter request to new uh, thumb adapter and we just set it and uh, okay in last we have this uh, delete image okay and in on create options menu we have to display the, the the menu on the action bar and after that we have on options item selected and we have this share images method okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye